Well, glory to God. Welcome once again to Power of Faith. I'm Pastor Philip Derber with my lovely wife, Alberta Derber. And just delighted to be able to share with you the truths of God's word once again. Luke 137 says, For with God nothing shall be impossible. Yeah. And it's wonderful Wednesday, September 16th. And how are you doing today? Wonderful, of course. Wonderful. <laughs> We're teaching, we're teaching out of our devotional Awake to Righteousness, which is uh, just a powerful, powerful uh, new creation reality wake-up call. But before we get into that, I want to just make you aware of uh, partnership, uh, how important that is in the body of Christ to be divinely connected where you need to be connected. And if you'd like it, uh, to know about that, I got this little book, free of charge, just contact our office, we'll get that in the mail to you. And if you go to our TRM, Times of Refreshing 5000, TRM5000.com, you'll see that at the bottom of the screen. And you uh, go to the media under there, I have four messages where I teach on partnership because this is something that has to uh, happen in the body of Christ for this mighty outpouring to happen. If you if you uh, look at Ezekiel, that exceeding great army that stood up, it happened after everyone mm -hmm. located where they were supposed to be joined in the body. Mm -hmm. And as well, I'm real excited about this album, hon. I know you are. We the people, me and yeah. the RVN band finally got this thing together. And uh, there's 12 songs on this. If you are a patriot, you love this nation. You love this country. And you still believe in God we God. trust. Yeah. You love God. One nation under God. Then this album <laughs> is just, uh, it's, I think it's great. You know, it's, 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 it's a different kind of flavor for the RVN band. But uh, it's, it's, it, it has a subject matter of uh, being an American. And, you know, so uh, you want you want a copy of this, contact our office, and they'll tell you how to get your own copy. And if you prefer iTunes, you know, download it on your phone, uh, it should be up there uh, by now as you watch it. If, if not, it'll be up there in, in a couple of days. But uh, I, I, I do iTunes myself uh, in the day we're living in. And I, and I do CD, I do both. But anyways, I want to make you aware of that. And my love, <laughs> are you ready. ready? Are you ready? I'm to, ready. You ready to get into this? Yes. Let's go. Okay, our scripture verse today is from Proverbs chapter 10 and verse 6. Blessings are upon the head of the just. Wow, that's pretty neat, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I like blessings. No one knows how to bless as much as God does. Being just or declared right has rich dividends or bonuses. Being forgiven is marvelous. Being made righteous is awesome. But God lavishes, that's a pretty big word there, mm -hmm. lavishes blessings on his people who understand him. Oh, right I there. I knew I was going to get it any further. Right there. That's what I was saying a little bit ago. God does not treat everybody the same. Thank you. When you come to him for forgiveness, he treats everybody the same. Everybody. Somebody that murdered somebody. Somebody that raped somebody. And somebody that uh, the worst thing they ever did was uh, uh, steal uh, their sister's uh, allowance to buy a basketball. That's heavy duty. That's no, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying <laughs> yeah. God treats yeah. the forgiveness the same, the, the born again, but he does not treat everybody the same. He treats everybody the same based on their spiritual maturity Thank you. and their seed they sown and the faith they live. And that's good. If he did it any other way, it would hurt people. They would, you know. Yeah, yeah. But see, if he's God, God, look, things God looks at certain ones. Uh, I mean, God. Uh, people look at certain 
other Christians and say, I wish God would do that for me. Oh, he'd do that and more. Exactly. If you if you get into how the laws of the kingdom operate. And so, uh, you know, I parent wise, as spiritual parents, there's 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 some of our children, they get treated different ways. You love them all the same, but they get treated certain ways based on their spiritual maturity uh, uh, on, on how yeah. on how they live. Absolutely. And you know, if if you have three or four children or, or two, and one it does everything you say it, say to do, and the other one like I ain't I I ain't doing it. Rebels against everything. Yeah. You say. Well, you love them both the same, but you exactly. don't treat them the same. No. Shouldn't. No. Thank you. Right. So, anyways, okay. uh, let's move on here. You don't have to know everything about Father God to be blessed by Him. No, we will spend eternity learning and understanding Him. But if you will get a revelation that you're just and righteous before God, it's hard for the devil to stop blessings from coming your way. Father God doesn't want our blessings to be hid in a closet somewhere. He wants them out in the open where everybody can see them. He will put them right on your little noggin. <laughs> That's your head. Where, where they will be seen by all. This verse has a deeper meaning, though. The word head also refers to those in leadership over your life. Um, if your spiritual headship is not blessed, something is terribly wrong. You need to look for a new spiritual headship, don't you think? Well, if they're not blessed or they don't know who they are. Or if you're under teaching that uh, teaches humility is uh, poverty. Oh, God. And, you know, uh, there's even people that I've taken a vow of poverty. Oh, God, yeah. Well, where's that in a book? You know? And it's not. And poverty has been made out like, well, I don't, I don't need nothing in this life, just enough to get by, and over <laughs> yonder I'll be rewarded. Probably not. No. I mean, you you'll get your mansion, but uh, it'll be it'll be uh, just the uh, like the row the, the row home mansions. <laughs> it's not going to have much with it. And, and people may be saying, uh, "I don't believe it." If you think <laughs> that every mansion in heaven is the same, uh, but not no, like no, mine. no, you you, like you, you you don't want to come on my street uh -uh. because it's going to be decked out. You and believe it. Probably going to change it a whole lot every day. Well, we're every rewarded. Day. There, there is what's called the Bema Seat Judgment. This is not where you're being judged for whether you're born again or not, whether you accepted Jesus or not. This is where you are rewarded That's according it. to your obedience right. and what you did with your life down here, and it'll be reflected in how you spend the rest of eternity. You know what I thought of just the other day? I, I thought, I remember years ago, the Lord said, Alberta, you and Philip get hundredfold on every dime you have put into the kingdom. I was thinking about investors, how people say, you know, that, that we're all we're after is our money. And then I thought about investors. You know, we are like um, people that in invest, you bring your money to them and they invested for you in the stock market or whatever. Mm -hmm. Well, that's how we are in the kingdom. People, we teach people how to invest in the kingdom. And I was thinking about kingdom investments. Honey, that is so powerful. People can lose the stock market millions every day. Oh, yeah. Overnight. Mm -hmm. We we saw that some year way, way back when we lived in the, the island. We're not against the stock market. We're not no. against financial investing at all. No. But everything in that system is subject to corruption. Exactly. It's subject to the moth and rust. I don't care how well you got your portfolio diversified. Right. It's, right. It, it can change in, in 24 hours. In a moment. <laughs> but, but in the kingdom of God, 
It is secured. Powerful. Where moth and rust doth not, not corrupt. See? And can't. It, that's right. It, 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 it can't penetrate. Gets, and God gives 30, 60, 100. Here's the thing. Volts. God's system can penetrate the world system. The world system cannot penetrate God's oh, system. Can't get in there. Isn't that powerful? It's extremely. I, I just started thinking about that when I was. Well, let's get back in here. Okay, where was I? Um, if your spiritual headship is not blessed, something is terribly wrong. Leadership in the body of Christ should be displaying the blessing as examples to believers and sinners alike. And let me let me let me throw this in because I got sidetracked from what you were reading just a moment ago. I remember Alberta, God bringing the truth of prosperity to us from day one, listening to Robert Tilton. He said, "Why should the devil's kids have all the good stuff?" I remember him saying that statement, and oh, it yeah. resonated in me. Yeah, right. And uh, I didn't know how to accomplish that. And I saw prosperity in the Word of God, but yet I, I took us into debt. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I remember... When we lived debt free for the first few years, all the way to the mission field and back. And it was when I got back, when we came back off the mission field, that somebody handed me that tape series from a Word of Faith preacher that taught, bar all you can. And I thought to myself, because we needed a car and a camper, we, we didn't, and all that. So I borrowed, got us in debt. And it, and, and it, and it, did something to the message I had been preaching and living by because now I'm teaching prosperity, but yet I'm in debt, yet we're barely getting by. And I can remember thinking, this, I can't say what I want to say because I have debt. Debt was choking the voice, oh, yeah. but once we got debt free, mm -hmm. And that's been, you know, over two decades ago. Once, once we got debt free, it not just liberated us financially. It liberated the message and, yeah. and the anointing for those that were listening. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's talking about. Uh, blessings are upon the head of the just. The head being those that are uh, leading in a, in a leadership role. You look it up in the Hebrew, that's what it means. And... Uh, what we have in the body of Christ, we have a lot of people that do not understand that. Yeah. But yet uh, they hear other preachers say, you know, you know, in, invest in uh, this rich soil, and it could be very true. They're, they're, they're actually living it, and they think, hey, I'm going to do that. But they're not blessed. Mm -hmm. They're not. Are you following what I'm saying? They're not blessed because they're living in a debt uh, state, uh, in in a current debt state, and so they're sitting there saying, uh, you know, uh, and, and they're trying to bless people, and they don't have the power to bless yeah. because the borrower the is servant, servant to, to the, the lender. lender, and that includes the preacher. Absolutely. And that's why this building project out here refuse to borrow money, even though they've it's been offered as much as we want. No, 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 no. We're going to build this debt-free. God will provide. This is God's house. Absolutely. And that's why we live our life debt-free. Absolutely. And that's why the blessing it's is upon the head yeah. on our noggin. On our noggin. <laughs> you really did say that in there. Right? Yeah. Uh, where was I? Just go to that third paragraph again. This verse has a deeper meaning, though. The word head also refers to those in leadership over your life. If your spiritual headship is not blessed, something is terribly wrong. Leadership in the body of Christ should be displaying the blessing as examples to believers and sinners alike. I would not follow the teaching of someone 
who is displaying Father God's goodness. Who is not? Oh, I'm sorry. Shh, thank you. When I got to the end, I'm thinking, what? I would not follow the teaching of someone who is not displaying Father God's goodness in manifestation. I need to see something. Well, everybody does to get your atten- to get their attention. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have some homeless person try to tell me how good God is when they're living, you know, in, in the street and they don't have anything and they're dirty and they're cold and they have a, a little dog that they can't feed or a child with them or, and, and they do. They say God and Jesus is so good, God. Yeah, how but, can but you say that? God, 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 God is good. You yeah, got you it. can't follow that. No, I'm not gonna and, follow that. And God wants to bring them up out of that. Exactly. But notice what we just read. It says, "I need to see something." Yeah. Paul said, "I don't come with just wisdom, but I come in demonstration." Now, yes. watch this. Jesus said this. I was reading this this morning in my time with the Lord in John fourteen eleven. Jesus says this, believe me that I'm in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. He gives two options on how to believe him. Yeah, that's good. Believe me by faith or believe me by what What you you see. see. So God uses supernatural manifestations to uh, get somebody on the pathway to faith. And, and uh, that's why when you and I are walking in blessing, anybody walking in blessing, we are not to hide it. We're not to have it in a closet. Come on. We're, we're, to, we're to flaunt it. Exactly. And, and, uh, I was told by a prophet I was going yeah. to flaunt and the blessing. Exactly. That's why I said that. And uh, right here, if, if somebody's preaching blessing the blessing of the lord maketh rich and he adds no sorrow with it proverbs 10 22 if if a, if a preacher's preaching that and has no real demonstration of that now i understand a young preacher starting out two three years pastoring you know and, and getting going i understand it but i'm talking about somebody that's preaching blessing and doesn't have any demonstration of it there, there something's wrong Something's wrong. And see, when you start demonstrating the blessing to the body of Christ and sinners, it makes people mad. And you know who gets mad? Christians. The Christians, of course, not the sinners. That, I, pull, I, pull, that. I pull in with my motorcycle back in the day into the gas station. Guess uh, who comes around? All the sinners. Pull in with a sports them. car. Guess who pulls around? Sinners come up. Whoa. They say things like this. They walk around and say, must be nice. I said, it's better than nice. (laughs) It's better than nice. God gave it to me. God gave it to you? Yeah, God gave it to me. Really? Yeah, really. (laughs) Right? And see, it's a demonstration and opens up a door. Now, some people, they'll they'll just look at you like, who's he think he is? Driving around and out of walking. I'll tell you, if you have a few moments or hours, I'll tell you who we are. Isaac. The Philistines envied him, you and he just something. grew greater. You have to, you have to have some jingle for. It's like the, we're supposed to make the Jewish people, the Jewish nation, Provoke jealous. Them. Yeah, yes. yeah. Provoke them to jealousy. Hey, they're not oh jealous. wow! Look at that last paragraph, or the next to last paragraph, huh? That's what we're I'm talking trying about. Trying to get there. People sometimes have a problem with Christian leaders. Having things. <laughs> when the bigger problem should be with the leaders who don't have things. Mm. Oh, God. I know there will always be abuse. Those who are after things more than they are after God. But that doesn't negate the truth that Father God wants blessings on the just. As for me and my house, we are after God and blessings are after us. So wait your righteousness and stick your head out for the bonus blessings. I have to say something here because so many times, you know, when we started manifesting blessings, you know, I mean, we manifested a lot of things, miracles, but uh, when we met, especially, well, you know, uh, 
I lost my track, train of thought. But it was like, you know, when people look at you, hon, when when they look at, for instance, us, and and they, oh no, I got it. Let me say it. The thing is, so many times we were satisfied where we were at. Mm -hmm. For instance, like right now, hmm? we're satisfied where we live. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, yeah. No, but God puts this dissatisfaction. He's not in satisfied. Us. He's not satisfied. That's right. And he'll tell us, you better mm -hmm. come up. You mm -hmm. better come up. Mm -hmm. I mean, like I said, we have a beautiful, huge home. Uh, and and yet, all of a sudden. Everything paid. All, of a sudden, all the, you know, yeah, it, I yeah. Mean, everything. But, but all of a sudden, it's like, we are, you want out. <laughs> it's like. But here's the thing, what I was getting ready to say is I remember the time I had one pair of shoes, white, white, white pair of shoes. One pair. Couldn't buy that either. Yeah, but back didn't in have the day. The money either. Back, yeah. <laughs> but we and, were always and, blessed. Uh, I had a thing of shoe polish. And I'd polish them shoes and polish them shoes and polish them shoes. And uh, they eventually wore a hole in the bottom through the sole. And, you know, if it was raining outside, my, my sock got wet. <laughs> now, I'm telling you, I'm preaching now. I know. Right. I was there. Right. And I'm just like, you know, I'd put I'd put Kleenex in in, in the shoe and all this stuff, it. right? And uh see people, you know, I I could wear a different pair of shoes for the next five years and not uh, several weeks. <laughs> but now but see you have shoes that you have there for Listen, two years listen, never people wore. people see they, they look at you now. And they might want to snarl, and they don't understand. And I remember, I remember, hon, that it got to the point where the whole soul, <laughs> oh, honey. the front part of the soul came out, and, and it'd do this little flapping. No, you didn't Fla wear them like that. Yes, I did. And we took sure. them down, we took them down to pages, right down here, and he put new soles on them shoes. And boy, I felt like I'm, I had a million bucks on my feet when I come out of there because he put, new, yes, it was flopping. I'm looking up Jesse Duplantis. He did the same thing. I heard. Motorcycle, but they were good boots. Yeah. But the whole song. I flopping. heard him talk about it and I thought about that. <laughs> he went to Brother uh, Copeland. He said, You don't go around, Brother Copeland. Well, you remember when I had holes in my pants and you patching the pants? Because I'm talking about my church pants. That's because I was trying to get, I would pour Clorox on them. <laughs> he had two pair of pants and trying to keep them white. He did everything. He worked on the car. He was, oh, wow. But see, God takes somebody that will stay, stick with him. Believe him. We gave up everything, our eight acre farm, all our cars, money, all that, you know, and and followed him. And there we are in that kind of condition. But God brought us up, out, and in. And he places something on, Thank you, Jesus. on the head yeah. of those that have walked the walk. And uh, they become a real fertile ground. Yeah. Where right. seed can be sown. We know where we sown for years our God, seed. God will bless God will bless his sons and daughters understanding their righteousness, understanding their uh place in him. But there's a higher dimension when you start investing in the uh investments in higher dimensions. That's what we did. Yeah. Oh, we, yeah. we, these, these general ministries that was teaching us and instructing us, we began to invest in them. And as we did still something, do. yes, yes, still do. Still to this day. And, and our always partners work. partake of that blessing too. Of, oh, of sure. Them. Oh, sure. I mean, when, when you partner up with Pastor Philip and I, mm -hmm. then you are also connected to the generals that you, we're you connect connected to who to. we're connected to. Yeah. That's how it works. And you partake of all the riches, the blessings when you It's like it's like you take a garden hose and the hose doesn't reach as far as you want it to go. So you go get another hose. Another one, partner. And you connect it. 
right? And then it goes there and so you keep it, right? And, and it's through those connections that what is coming out can get to the destination. And the, you, take, you take that first hoso and disconnect it and everything stops. Everything. But if you connect to the one that's connected to the source, and that's not that's I'm not so glad that's not belittling no. any other believers, mm-hmm. just the structure of the kingdom and our time has gotten oh. away from us again. Wow, here we go. Hallelujah. Okay. That prayer line's down at the bottom. And uh use that. It's 24 hours a day, seven days a week, spirit filled, faith filled staff is there to pray with you and for you. Prayer starts things and prayer ends things. Ecclesiastes. Chapter 8, verse Verse 4 says, Where the word of a king is, there there is power. power. Be a blessing. Awake to Righteousness with a daily devotional by Drs. Philip and Alberta Derber. In this powerful devotional, you'll learn the different aspects of the righteousness or right standing that Jesus has provided. Get the reality of what Jesus has done deep down inside of you to the point that every day you awake to righteousness. Awake to Righteousness includes 365 daily devotions accompanied by a master key verse and a scriptural meditation for every day of the year. Get your Awake to Righteousness devotional today. You can order online at our website or give us a call at 502-875-7886.